everyone, so today I'm here with the newest member of the guinea pig family, Speedy. So I thought for today's video I would try and do sort of a creative guinea pig type video. And it's a video that I actually tried filming once a couple of years ago and the files all got corrupted and I never re-filmed it. But it is basically to make these little keepsake paw prints. So I've actually got one of these for all of my previous guinea pigs but I don't have any for my current guinea pigs and as they're getting a little bit older it's just something that I thought I would do and then I've got a little memory of them as well and it's something that I'd quite like to have all of the paw prints from all of my past guinea pigs and maybe put them in a little frame. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a guinea pig. So the main thing I'm going to be using is a polymer clay and this is a clay that is kind of like plasticine but then you bake it in the oven and it goes hard and it will preserve your creation forever. So the, what, the brand that I'm using is Fimo but you can also use Sculpey or any other sort of brand. I don't know if you say it Fimo or Fimo, however you want to say it. I don't know, that's just how I've been saying it. I'll also be using some tin foil to put it on to bake it in the oven and a baking tray. So there's a couple of methods that you can use to do this. Previously I've just used the FIMO and pressed my pet's paw into the clay and then used a either a baby wipe for sort of newborn babies like a non-scented kind of wipe or a small pet wipe or something like that to wipe their feet off afterwards because you don't want to leave any residue on their paws. But something I've tried doing more recently is with some cling film and then putting some cling film over the clay and then pressing your pet's paw print into it. So then their paw doesn't actually touch the clay. The only thing with that is that you do then sometimes get the lines from the cling film in the clay. So previously I've just sort of conditioned the clay by hand but it's quite difficult to, you have to press fairly hard to make a nice imprint into the clay. So I looked up online and a couple of ways you can soften the clay a little bit more is either with some bacon bond or some Vaseline. I think some people say baby oil, so there's lots of different ways that you can soften the clay. And I'm going to give that a go today and then hopefully I'll get a better impression into the clay. So I also ended up using some treats, a coaster, just to put as a hard surface under the guinea pig's paw. I also used some glaze, a paintbrush and a label making machine to stick the guinea pig's name on the back of the paw print. So this one's Holly. Well, it's Holly's butt. There's her lovely face. So I think I'm just going to do front feet with all of them because all of the ones that I've made before were front feet apart from one which was a back foot. Good job you're a good girl isn't it? So I'm just going to try and condition this again without getting loads of guinea pig hair stuck in it. And then what I'm going to do is use the Vaseline to make it a bit squishier. they all turned out. So this is Lily's. We've got Poppy's who turned out really well so I softened it a little bit but not so much of some of the others. 
So some of the others like this one with Speedy, I softened it a bit too much and it just made it a bit sticky. So when you sort of pull their paw away, then it kind of pulls the clay with it a little bit. So you lose some of the definition actually. So I think next time I would, I would do it, I would make it a little bit squishy, but not too squishy. And then this one is Holly's. Again, I made it a little bit sticky. Treacles turned out really well. It's really interesting. You can see all the different sections of their feet. I think guinea pigs have fascinating feet. And you can see her little twirly, curly toe there as well. So you could try this with different pets. I don't know if it would work very well with really, really small feet like hamsters. So I did do Sheldon's foot as well here. With Sheldon's foot, I used cling film over the top because I thought she's never gonna let me wipe her feet with wet wipes. So you can see, especially around the toenails, you can definitely see the marks from the cling film, but it meant I didn't have to wipe her feet off. So, so that is a consideration, but I thought that turned out really cute. And then I did Benji's and for Benji's I tried something a little bit different and I just used a Sharpie just to colour in, the, because there wasn't a lot of definition, I didn't soften his very much at all, so there really isn't very much difference. So it basically looked like a blob. So I coloured in the sort of dips with Sharpie and I feel like that made a bit more definition. Don't ask me how I managed to miss off a little paw pad. He does have four little toes, but somehow we only ended up with three on here. Again, the definition wasn't really that good. He didn't really want to comply. So <laughs> I might try again with Benj at some point, but I thought that turned out fairly cute. I'm not sure how well that will work though when I try to glaze it. I feel like when I try and paint over it with glaze, it'll probably just smear the Sharpie, but we'll see. This is a bit of a trial run. just done the first coat of glaze I'll probably do a couple coats front and back um, it might not come out too good because I shook the pot and then read the instructions and it said do not shake so it might be all bubbly but there we go um, I would just say do be careful if you do use sharpie because it does sort of bleed so I had to sort of glaze the outside bits and then do the inside of the paw print so do be careful I really hope you enjoyed me doing some fun crafts with the pets. If you've done any crafts with your pets, I would love to check them out. So tag me in Facebook or Instagram or leave me a link down below and I will be so sure to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Time flies, close your eyes, imagine you could see Everybody else's dream, what a comfort it would be. All along, stand strong, the way it ought to be. But you can never walk alone.